Hi, my name is Hanwu, and I'll be teaching you how to utilize the button to turn on an LED. Let's start off with the idea. The idea is very similar to the previous lesson where we learned how to control an LED with the Arduino. The difference is that we need to send power only when a different port on the Arduino detects power. Instead of making the pins give power to the LED, we can use an if statement to detect whether a different port on the Arduino is receiving power. For example, if port 2 on the Arduino detects power, then you can give power to port 3, which then powers the LED. A button is a tool that lets the user choose whether the power can get to one pin to another. Pushing the button will make these two plates touch. This lets the power get to the other set of pins. We can start off with this. This is what we learned from the previous lesson. The blue wire is connected to ground, and the yellow wire is connected to a port on the Arduino. Sending power to the port connected with the yellow wire turns on the LED, and thanks to the 1K resistor, the circuit doesn't burn. Pause the video and take a couple of minutes rebuilding this set. Next we need to put the button. Use the image as an example. It should go between the big gap in the middle of the breadboard. Then you need a power pin D with 5 volts. In other words, you get a wire that is connected to 5V on the Arduino and below pin D. When you press the button, pin A will also be powered. Get a wire that connects to a port on the Arduino, in my case I use port 2, and connect it to a pin slot above pin A. Be sure to add a resistor so that connects to the ground, because otherwise the circuit might burn. Pause and try to figure this out yourself. Make sure your project looks something like this. It doesn't need to look exactly the same, but it should have the same working idea as this. Take some time fixing it if you need. By this point, you should already have the physical part of your project done. To start off with the code, you first need three variables. One that represents which port will be detecting power when the button is being pressed, one that defines the state that the button is in, that is being pressed or not, and one that determines which port should be given power to the LED. First, let's make a variable called button. This represents the port that detects power when the button is being pressed. The second variable LED should determine which port you should be giving power to to turn on the LED. In my case, I use port 3. Last is the button state. This variable will determine whether the button is being pressed. This variable will be changing so it doesn't matter what button or what number you will use. You will use this variable with the variable button to make the button stay either high or low. High means the button is being pressed and low means the button is not being pressed. Next is to determine which pins will be used for input and output. In our case, we use button as the input and LED as the output. Next is to repeatedly define whether the button is being pressed or not. Button state will represent this as either high or low. High means the power is re being received, and low means the power is not being received. When the button is pressed, there will be power sent to port 2. You can define button state as what the Arduino reads from port 2, which is variable button. Next is to check if the button state is either high or low. If the button state is high, that means the button is being pressed, so you need to send power to the port powering your LED. Use an if statement that says if the button state is high, send power to the LED. Now 
At this point, when you run the project and press the button, the LED should light up, but when you let go of the button, it'll continue to be on. This is because we didn't say anything to stop giving power when the button is being pressed. We only said to turn it on when the button is pressed. So to prevent this, we need to say to stop giving power to the LED when the button state is low. We could say if button state is low, don't give power to the LED. But you can also just say, otherwise don't give power to the LED. In other words, you could just use an else statement. You can see that once we run the program, when you click the button, the LED lights up. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments or save them for the Friday meeting.